Hello everyone and welcome to the channel. In this video we will see how we can create custom buttons and add them into the Salesforce Lightning and Salesforce Classic page layout. So in Salesforce a custom button is a user defined button that enhances functionality by allowing users to perform specific actions directly from record detail page or list views. Now there are three types of buttons in Salesforce detail page button, list button and then detail page link. Now to better understand how we can create custom button in Salesforce, let's take a scenario. So here we have scenario. You want to search Google information about their account without opening a new browser tab. So first I will show you the exact scenario. For that let's jump to the org. I am opening an account object tab. And then as you open any record, for example I am opening this record, TS Info Technologies. And as you navigate to the details page, here you can see, here we can see all the details about this particular account. Now here we have the first type, detail page button. That means when we create any detail page button, we can add them to the particular object detail record page. So as per our scenario, we need to create detail page button and add that button to the detail page of account object. That means that button will appear over any record page. And as we click on that button, we should redirect to the Google and automatically Google search information about that particular account. For that we will create a custom button. Then there we need to add a Google link with the account name to the lightning and classic detail page. So without any delay, I will show you how to create custom button. To create a custom button, click on a setup. Then go to the object manager and search for the object on which you want to create button. Here as per our scenario, we need to create button on the account object. Here I am clicking on account. And then here you can see, here we have option, button, links and actions. Click on it. Then here are some buttons which are already created, which means these are the standard button. And we need to create custom button, that means user defined button. For that we need to click on new button or link. As we click on it, here we will see, here we need to enter label for the custom button. Here I am entering search account info. Then as you click on name, it will automatically populate because it's an API name. Then you can enter description, it's an optional. Then here we have display type, detail page link, detail page button and then list button. Here we are going to create detail page button for that click on it. Then here we have the behavior. That means this behavior decide the position of the new window after clicking on the custom button or link. As you click on this drop down, here you can see display new window, then display an existing window with this sidebar, then display an existing window without sidebar. There are different different types. Here I am selecting display in new window. That means as I click on the button that I will create. After creating on that button, the new window will display. Then in the content source we need to select URL because we are going to search information about the account. Then as you scroll down here we need to enter the URL. Here I have entered the google.com then slash search then q equal to and here you can see there are then here you can see the curly brackets. In these curly brackets we need to provide the API name of account name. For that here you can see here we have insert field option click on it and here you will see all the fields that are present in the account object. Here we need to select account name and then here I am removing the extra curly brackets and then as you scroll down check for syntax. Here you can see no syntax error and then click on save button. As you click on save button there was the message you need to add this button on the page layout. For that here you can see account page layout as you click on it. As you click on page layout you will see different different page layout. If you didn't create any page layout then you will see only one page layout. On that page layout you can add the created button. But if you have different different page layout first you need to check which page layout you are using. For that you can click on page layout assignment. Then as you scroll down. Here I am using system administrator profile. And then here you can see I am using user requirement page layout. Then again go to the page layouts. And here I have user requirement, I am clicking on it. Now as you click on the buttons, here you can see the search account information button has been successfully created. Now we want to add this button on the detail page of account object. 
Now to add the custom button to the page layout, you need to drag and then you need to drop this to the account detail page and then click on save button. Now we will see on the account detail page whether the created custom button added. For that I am navigating to the account object and then I am refreshing this page. Here I am clicking on drop down to see extra buttons. But here I can't see the custom button that we added to the page layout. Now let's check on the Salesforce Classic whether the button get added to the Salesforce Classic or not. Here I am switching to Salesforce Classic. And then I am opening the any account record. Now here you can see the custom button that we created with the name search account info. Now we have opened the record of TS info technologies. And from this account, I am clicking on search account info. As you click on search account info, you directly redirect to the Google and Google automatically search for the account name that you currently opened. This is the use of custom detail page button. Now we will see how we can add custom detail page button on the Salesforce Lightning. For that here, I am switching to the Salesforce Lightning. Then again, go to the page layout. Here I am opening the user requirement page layout. And first we selected the search account info button from the buttons option. That means from here. Now as you see here we have mobile and lightning actions. As you click on it. Here also we have the search account info. That means when you add the button from the buttons to the this account detail page that will add to the Salesforce classic. And then when you add the custom button from the mobile and lightning actions. Now here I am dragging this search account info from the mobile and lightning actions. And then as you drop down. Here you can see Salesforce mobile and lightning experience actions. And I am dropping this to the this section. And then again click on the save button. Now again go to the account detail page. Here I am refreshing this. And then as I click on this drop down here you can see search account info. And again as I click on this search account info button. The Google search had to fill the name of account name and then it displays the result. In this way we can create the custom button in Salesforce and add it to the Salesforce Lightning and Salesforce Classic. Now we will see the list button. The list button we can add to the standard or custom object list view where we can see all records of particular object. Now we will see how we can create list button and add it to the list view of particular object. To create the list button again click on the setup. Then go to the object manager. Now here I want to add the list button to the list view of contact object. For that here I am searching for the contact. Click on it. Now again click on the buttons links and actions. Then click on the new button or new link. Now in the label I am entering Salesforce help. The API name will automatically populate and now we want to create the list button for that click on it and then here also I will show you using URL how we can create the list button. For that I am opening the new tab and entering Salesforce help. Then I am opening this Salesforce help home. And now I am copying this URL and then closing this Salesforce home and pasting over here. Now again click on the check syntax, no syntax error and then click on the save button. Again we need to add this button to the page layout. Now as you scroll down here you can see Salesforce help with the list button has been successfully created. Now we need to add this list button to the list view of this contact object. For that this time we don't need to navigate to the page layout. Instead of that as you scroll down here you can see list view button layout. To add the list view buttons or list view links we need to navigate to the list view button layout. Click on it. Then here you can see list views. As you click on this drop down we need to click on edit button. And then here you can see the custom buttons that we created is automatically populate in the available buttons. Here I am selecting this and then click on add button. Now it's transferred to the selected buttons 
and then click on save button now i am navigating to the contact object click on contacts and then this is the list view the list view nothing but where you can see all the records that you created then as you click on the drop down here you can see the button that we created with salesforce help and now i am clicking on this button as you click on this button you will be redirected to the salesforce help that means you don't need to open any tab and then search for the google help instead of that you can create the button and directly you can redirect to the salesforce help in this way you can create the list view button in salesforce so i hope you have got an idea about custom button in salesforce if you like the video hit the like button subscribe our channel and hit the bell icon to get regular updates thank you